the first time in the new A-League men's season. The Wellington Phoenix and Adelaide United take to the grass, led out by their respective captains. Ollie Sale with the armband for Wellington. And Ryan Kitto deputising today for Craig Goodwin, who is among the reserves. Ollie Sale fresh back from all whites duty, as are a number of these players. And Yellow Fever have brought out an old favourite. Home again reads the banner. Again, again, <laughs> the addendum to the power of two underneath. And isn't it great to see Yellow Fever in fine voice already, Jack? Absolutely. And it's a wonderful acknowledgement of not only the work of the players, but also the fans. And these Wellington fans that haven't had consistent football for the better part of four years now, Jason Pine. Let's have a look at the way the Wellington Phoenix will line up in their season opener. The new boys all get a shot from day one. Club debuts for Brazilian Jan Sass, Pole Oscar Zavada and Bulgarian Bojide Krajev, as well as Australian Steven Yugakovic and Lucas Moragas. Sam Sutton, as I say, a hamstring niggle. Joining David Ball and Alex Rufa on the unavailable list, Costa Barbarousas is back for a third stint in Wellington. Harry van der Sar gets an Adelaide debut after three seasons at Sydney FC. Club captain Craig Goodwin won't start, so Ryan Kitto has the armband today. George Blackwood leads the line with a very dangerous Ben Halloran alongside. Potential debuts off the bench for teenagers Ethan Elegant and Musa Torre. Familiar and unfamiliar faces. All set for the start of the new campaign. The new Isuzu Uday League men's season underway for the Wellington Phoenix and Adelaide United. Two sides that tend to fly under the radar when pre-season predictions are put together. But Adelaide United have played finals football in four of the last five seasons. And the Phoenix have done so in three of the last four, missing out by a solitary point in the 2020-2021 campaign. 44th meeting between the two. Adelaide certainly had the upper hand historically. 20 wins to Wellington's 10, 13 matches drawn. Adelaide, the Reds, all in red. The Wellington Phoenix in their golden black attacking the goal to our right, heading towards their yellow fever faithful at the southern end of Sky Stadium in this first half. Talked about Harvey Lopez and the experience and value that he brings to the right back role for Adelaide United. I think Tim Payne makes the Wellington Phoenix a better team when he's playing right back. Here come Adelaide again though. Hot on attack, the Reds in the penalty area. Laws gets it half away on the edge of the area. And the shuttle on the carpet from Louis Dorigo, tarned wide by Ollie Sale. Adelaide United have come out red hot early on. Well, they have, they've rolled out in this first five minutes. Again, getting the ball into a wide area. Dangerous delivery. This time I think it's Dorigo picks up the ball on the edge of the box. I'm not sure that takes a deflection. Regardless, Sale doesn't see it too late and gets a really important left hand to see that one around the post. Here come the visitors again. Kitto is Lopez outside. Uh, rather, Halloran outside. He's come across to the left-hand side. Better passing, SIS Kiddo, this is lovely, Ben Halloran and just couldn't quite get the touch that would have opened up a shot on goal, Ben Halloran, and ended up fouling. But lovely interplay there in tight areas from Adelaide. Oh, it was, and you can see the numbers that Adelaide are getting forward, the runs across the board. Unfortunate Ben Halloran's touch got away from him there. I'll go again down the right-hand side to Rigo. Halloran over here on the right-hand side this time. Ben Halloran into the box. Blackwood goes up and comes down with a thump. Thought he was impeded. Referee says that's fine. Sass is going to play a little bit of Samba in the right-back pocket. And foul there on Zavada by Harvey Lopez. Well, as George Blackwood climbed into the sky there, he came down with a heck of a thud. 
Again, another tantalizing delivery from Ben Helleran. He's popping up on either side. And despite the Phoenix's protestations, Jan Sass's Wellington Phoenix debut ends after 25 minutes with a straight red card. Oli Sale leads the protests. Jan Sass didn't leap immediately to his feet to protest himself. Ben Abraham was very close to the action. And Jan Sass has been sent off. A bouncing ball, not good play from Adelaide United. I, th I can understand why there's a question around this, but at the same time, there's inadvertent contact there with the standing foot. Jan Sass actually gets the initial contact on the ball. It's unfortunate, Jason Pine. Well, you can see he slips, doesn't he? And his feet come up. And once you leave your feet, you're in the lap of the gods. He's carved into the Adelaide player. We can see Jonathan Gould, Giancarlo Zeliano, and Ufuk Tale apoplectic there. And in conversation with Amory Kiley, the fourth official, trying to calm things down. All a bit scrappy at the moment. Zavada will chase after this one. And he puts pressure on Popovich and does well, Zavada. He goes down in the area. The crowd want to know. It's a yellow card for the Adelaide player. Now, where was the foul? Well, they've caught it back well outside the 18-yard box, but Zavadas go down inside the box. And they're asking for a VAR. So here's Popovich. Does he foul him? There, that's outside, obviously. So that's the decision. Yellow card for Popovich and free kick outside the area, even though Zavada fell inside. Laws, Krav, Zavada, all there. Barbarus is just on the edge. Is there a set play or a plan move coming here, or will Yugarkovic just plant this one in? Let's see. So, yeah, uh, the poor delivery from Stephen Yugarkovic. He'd probably like to have that one back. Back in by Sale. All the way forward is Josh Laws. We avoided the offside flag. Josh Laws has never scored for the Wellington Phoenix. We'll need an end on view to see how close he was. Oh, and red going one way, yellow going the other here. A number of players made it difficult for an offside call to be made. Regardless, it falls to Josh Laws onto his favoured left foot. Flashes that one wide of Joe Gauchy's right. Half a dozen players not available for Carl Viet today. Here's one who is Halloran. He and Van der Sark look to combine again down the right, perhaps. Van der Sark, that's a better touch. Harry Van der Sark. His less favoured left foot, to be fair. Think of all the players that you've just named there, Jason. Ibasuki is a player that you'd be looking for in positions like this. Playing alongside Blackwood. Interesting half-time chats coming up for both coaches. Into the box and Oli Sale again climbing high. Once again, the cross came in. He's had plenty of touches of the football in the first half. Oli Sale certainly the busier of the two goalkeepers. Adelaide so strong in those wide areas. The fluidity of play at times has been really impressive. Equally, however, particularly with 10 men, Wellington Phoenix have defended the balls into the box rather well, either through the centre-backs in Laws and Wooten or Oli Sale. I've lost count how many crosses he's had to come for. Enthusiastic Adelaide debut from Harry van der Sark. 
He's looked good up and down that right. From right back, though, Jason Pine, not from right midfield, as we told at the start of the game. No, we, uh, we won't trust the uh, graphics provided to us or the team sheets and the formations provided to us by the sides. Yeah, clearly a right fullback, Harry van der Sarg, and a very competent one at that. So good that uh, one of the best in the competition has been pushed out to the left, and I think Harvey Lopez has done pretty well on the left-hand side as well. He's certainly been uh, on the receiving end of a couple of challenges, including the one that saw Jan Saar sent off. <laughs> Referee Ben Abraham brings the first half to a close. No goals, but a couple of talking points in this first half, not least of which the straight red card for Jan Saas, the Brazilian. Wellington down to 10 early, but they've held off a rampant Adelaide. Half-time, though, here in the capital. The Phoenix, nil. Adelaide United, nil. Second half underway in Wellington. Home side kicking right to left. Probably into the teeth of the breeze, although you never really know here in Wellington. It tends to swirl around a bit. Adelaide United kicking north to south here in the second period. Be interesting to see how Ufoktele uses his bench as well. He'll obviously want to introduce some fresh legs at some stage with his 10 men playing Adelaide's 11. The likes of Ben Old. Ben Wayne, Clayton Lewis, even if he's well and truly over that injury. I think in terms of the players that you'll see, Ben Wayne's name, one that'll be front and centre for Ufuk Tale. Early chance for Adelaide to attack. SIS tries to slide one into the path of Kitto. Couldn't quite find its mark, and Wellington should clear their lines okay. The phases of play like this, where Ben Wayne could make an impact. That ball obviously not perfect for Zavada, but Ben Wayne brings energy, he brings dynamicism, athleticism to the game. The question will be who comes off because Wellington have looked rather resilient at the moment with this makeup, albeit a man down. Adelaide hot on attack again inside the penalty area. Here's Heller and he's got half a side of goal, a little chip, and uh, Oli Salkut saw it coming. Don't mind the idea from Ben Halloran. He's got an eye for the spectacular. Only Sale was having none of it. Rather cheeky situation here. Lucas Moragas does well, backs off, doesn't allow Halloran to get that ball out of his feet and whip it across. Goal into the path of Zach Clough. That's rather tame in the end there. I think Halloran knows it in his reaction. Here they come again, Adelaide. Ryan Kitto streaking forward. Here's George Blackwood. Good block in the box from Nicholas Pennington. Had to be as well. George Blackwood with a really good side of goal there. Pennington looking to free up Savannah. First touch is good. So's the second. Here's Savannah. The third touch was the one that he wanted to drill home. Good build up from Savannah. The finish didn't match it. A really tidy play there from both Pennington and Savannah. A couple of lovely touches, just wasn't finished off by a final one. Plenty of fizz in the second half. Clough, Halloran. Yes, I guess with a heavy touch, but gets it back and pokes it to Halloran. Van der Sarg plants it forward. And that has hit Josh Laws on the top of the head and gone behind for a corner. I think the wind plays a little bit of a part in this one. Do you think? Pennington wins the ball, gets his head up and sprays it to Zavada. Only one target up there and it's the big man. And then the pole, first touch is wonderful, sets him up to cut across the Adelaide defenders, but the shot just had no power in it. Yeah, best moment of the game for Wellington, but they're defending again now. Clough's corner, hangs it up again. Sale can't get rid of it and then nodded onto the roof of the net by Popovich. The wind is certainly a factor here today. It is blowing, as we're going to look at this, left to right, so into the Phoenix's faces, but also across Oli Sal. So it's diagonally away now, and Oli Sal loses himself not only in terms of assessing the flight of the ball, but also in the middle of that pack. Special moment for the Toro family. Musa Toro 
A debut for the 16-year-old younger brother of Al Hassan. A couple of seasons in Adelaide now. MacArthur and Mohamed Torre. Three seasons with Adelaide now playing in France. Torre 3.0. They say he's got Mo's pace and Al Hassan's footwork. What a player he could be in 49. Musa Torre with an A-League debut. What's he got in the final quarter hour or so? Here's the first chance to set out after that one. I think he did the maths and realised there's a bit too much pace on it. As you say, Jacob, imagine having three players like that come <laughs> out of the same family. Those backyard games would have been hectic at Christmas time. I tell you what, Joe Gauch is a marketing expert. That's enough to make any A-League defender worried. Fantastic seeing young players given opportunities. Ethan Alagic also on the bench today for Adelaide, the 18-year-old, waiting for his debut, son of Richie, who played 64 games for Adelaide in the first three seasons of the A-League. Carl Viet, certainly of the opinion that if you're good enough, you're old enough. Task now for Wellington, Babarusis! Gauchy saves, tapped in! Ben Wayne, all aboard! The Wayne train is in operation again! and have raided Adelaide United. We were wondering whether or not the tactics from Tali would pay off. With 15 minutes to play, this Wellington Phoenix crowd is on their feet. Costa Barbarousas announces himself home for the second time, sitting up Ben Wayne, who doesn't miss. What a ball from Lewis. Good save from Gauchi. But Ben Wayne doing what all good strikers do following up and clinical from that distance Ben Wayne 15th goal for Wellington first of the new season for the Phoenix and it has them into a you might say somewhat unlikely lead but Ben Wayne raises the roof in Wellington well, that's all about the substitutions just focus on the football with Goodwin in the action again. And that has gone behind for a goal kick. Well, afternoon kickoffs lend themselves to getting your kit off. As I say, the Wellington Phoenix fans haven't had a heck of a lot of opportunity on opening day to do this, but they're quite happy to whip the shirts off early in the season. It has been a long winter for some of those fans. <laughs> Black, yellow, and a shade of pasty, I think, are the official colours of the Wellington Phoenix. Great to see, though. Shirts have remained on in the commentary box. I'll be pleased to hear that. Now a chance for Clough! He had a good look at it, Zach Clough. Oli Sale wasn't sure. He went across to his right. And the ball fizzed past his right-hand post. Oh, you get the feeling this is the moment for Zach Clough. All by himself on the edge of the Phoenix 18-yard box and flashes that one wide of Ollie Sell's right-hand post. Clough. Clever from Clough. Zach Clough across the box. And over she goes from Craig Goodwin. Arriving at the right time, Craig Goodwin couldn't get the right contact. Zach Clough did really well. Got away from Elliott, the cross was good, and Craig Goodwin couldn't get the contact. Kiddo drives it in. It's there for Zach Clough. Sale, what a save. Crucial save from Ollie Sale. And it might have come at a personal cost. I think that's been driven into his unmentionables. But he will claim the save. Zach Clough looked for all the world as though that was going to be the moment. It fell kindly to Clough and right into the bread basket of Ollie Sale. Putting his body on the line for the team. Sale is back on his feet. A right spot from Tim Payne. Still defending to do though for Wellington. Goodwin to deliver. Is there for Halloran! And Adelaide have nicked a point at the end. Ben Halloran unmarked on the edge of the penalty area. And strokes it home past Ollie Sale. Insult added to injury for Oliver Sale. 
as the ball came in it fell to Halloran a very clever finish from Ben Halloran and Adelaide will steal a point here and a point they probably think they deserve so that has sucked the energy out of Sky Stadium Adelaide come again they might sense a winner here and Torre goes down what's the call from the referee no penalty he got up very quickly Musa Torre didn't protest Javi Lopez. Held back in by Adelaide United. Toure with a spectacular attempt at a bicycle kick. Well, that would have been one of the all-time great debut goals had that come off. Now well, the audacity to even try it from Musa Torre. I tell you what, he's not that far away from making some good contact there got his body into a pretty good position so we've had the extra four minutes there'll be a couple more added no doubt because of the injury stoppage for ollie sale adelaide have threatened all afternoon and they've got the goal that their endeavor deserves wellington have played 65 minutes with only 10 men Adelaide coming home strong. Clough bangs it into the face of Clayton Lewis, and it'll be another corner for the Reds. Goodwin has sprinted across to take. Ufuktale wants to know why there's still time being added. I think he knows full well. Goodwin going to bend this one in. 18 corners for Adelaide to one for the Phoenix today. Goodwin delivers. Hit it away, and then the shot is up and over. A chance there right at the end for Halloran to double his and Adelaide's money. Hands to the face from Ben Halloran. Again, he found himself in a good position. That time he had less time to place his shot, but he must have thought that there was an opportunity for him. That'll be the last action. Oh, the pretty enthralling first round encounter. Referee Ben Abraham brings proceedings to a close. Ben Wayne thought he'd won it for Wellington. Ben Halloran said, not a bit of it. I'll take a point with us back to South Australia. Carl Verde and Ufuk Talley come together, as do the players. A stalemate in Wellington on opening weekend. It's finished. The Wellington Phoenix won. Adelaide United, one.